rational numbers. In this module, you will learn about rational numbers and equivalent rational numbers. We know that any number that can be written in the form p upon q, where p is any integer and q is not equal to zero, is called a rational number. Now we will learn how to represent rational numbers on a number line. To simplify things, rational numbers can be classified into three types. 1. When the numerator is greater than denominator. 2. When the numerator is less than the denominator. 3. When the numerator is equal to the denominator. Always remember, when we compare we see only the numeric value. And when the numerator is equal to denominator, the numeric value of rational number is 1. When numerator is less than the denominator, let's represent 1 upon 3 and minus 1 upon 3 on a number line. First, we plot 1 upon 3. In 1 upon 3, the numerator is less than the denominator. And when the numerator is less than the denominator, the rational number lies between 0 and 1. So we draw a number line as shown here. In 1 upon 3, the denominator tells us the total number of equal parts. So, we divide the length between 0 and 1 into 3 equal parts. These two lines divide the length between 0 and 1 into 3 equal parts. The numerator tells us the number of equal parts taken together. Thus, the first mark from 0 represents 1 upon 3. Using the same procedure, we represent minus 1 upon 3 on left side of 0 as negative sign shows the left direction from 0. When numerator is greater than denominator, let us plot 9 upon 5 and minus 9 upon 5. We will plot 9 upon 5 first. When the numerator is greater than the denominator, we first convert it into a mixed number. In order to do so, we divide 9 by 5. Thus 9 upon 5 can be written as 1 whole and 4 upon 5. Here 1 is the whole number part and 4 upon 5 the fractional part. Here 1 tells us that 9 upon 5 lies in between 1 and the next whole number, that is 2. In the fractional part, 5 tells us the total number of equal parts. Thus divide the length between 1 and 2 into 5 equal parts. The fourth mark on the right of 1 represents 9 upon 5. Similarly, minus 9 upon 5 will be represented on the left side of 0. Now consider another rational number, minus 1 upon 3. To represent minus 1 upon 3, we have divided the length between 0 and minus 1 into 3 equal parts. Here, the red mark represents minus 1 upon 3. If we further divide each of these 3 lengths into 2 equal parts, then the red mark represents minus 2 upon 6. If we further divide each small division into 3 equal parts, then the length between 0 and minus 1 is divided into 18 equal parts. And the red mark is 6th on the left of 0. Thus, it represents minus 6 upon 18. On comparing, we see that in all the number lines, the mark is at the same distance from 0. This means each rational number has an equal value. These types of rational numbers are called equivalent rational numbers. In the last number line, have you noticed each of these small divisions represent a rational number and all of these lies between 0 and minus 1. If we divide the length between minus 1 upon 18 and 0 into two equal parts, this means we are doubling the number of parts in which the 0 and minus 1 is divided and as well, number of parts considered to locate the number. Thus, this mark 
represents minus 1 upon 36. Thus, a rational number between two rational numbers can be found by finding the arithmetic mean of given two rational numbers. By repeating this method number of times, we can find number of rational numbers between two given rational numbers. Insert n rational numbers between any two given rational numbers a and b. Let the two rational numbers be a and b, where a is less than b and n rational numbers are to be inserted. To insert n rational numbers between a and b, we divide the difference b minus a in n plus 1 equal parts. The first rational number between a and b is a plus b minus a upon n plus 1. The second rational number between a and b is a plus 2 into b minus a upon n plus 1. Similarly, we can find the nth rational number between a and b is a plus n into b minus a upon n plus 1. Let's take an example. Let's recap rational numbers. Any number that can be written in the form p upon q, where p is any integer and q is not equal to 0, is called a rational number. Equivalent rational numbers. Rational numbers which are same in their lowest form, called equivalent rational numbers. Between two rational numbers, there are infinitely many rational numbers.